welcome back YouTube to my channel of an everyday life of an SB. If you're following me right now, I'm SB. I'm all about creating mental health and awareness versus sharing my life stories with this syndrome, OCD and the like, along with tips and advice on how to manage and cope with these everyday diagnoses of what you may have to the best ability that I can and know of so that hopefully it'll be of value and use to you. Just to be in mind with these tips and advice though be before I begin my other series that I'm hoping to promise you guys is that at this point of time I'm no medical doctor I'm just a normal everyday Joe blog so some of the stuff that I've been sharing with the tips and advice may work for me but not for you and vice versa it's just about give and take and I'm obviously respecting one another and hopefully that we can work something along the way as well as just basically going it step by step if you see any tips and advice along the way step by step just to you know be the common call you know respectable also just to be in mind also that if you see any warning signs and symptoms regardless of what i share of these every mental health disorders you know seek professional help for yourself or for your loved one as well as you know seek an opinion just in case that you know with what i say you know doesn't seem fit to you you can always be you know sure to have second opinion no no disrespect on you guys on that term no you know what you call it no offence taken from you as if you do decide to do that your choice is al alone obviously just to be in mind also that at this point of time you know I am sharing some of these autism and series based on my autism and as much as this help central playlist things so hopefully some of these will be of value and use to you guys or anyone in particular that you want to just learn and educate from me and even though some people as I said will be different from the spectrum of wherever they are so it's just a give and take episode of getting to know the person as well hearsay and just to be in mind of you know how they go with everyday life regardless what it may be so enough for the do guys before I run out of time obviously some of these will coincide with one another so this one's a little about sarcasm autism and sarcasm as well as aspergism sarcasm it will come along the lines of also jokes obviously or understanding jokes and the next part of it so just give me the like and the lowdown also comment below for anyone that are like me who are aspies or autistics that how you guys deal with all these everyday topics that i'm bringing out to you all regardless what it may be so let's begin this before i run out of time so as you know basically as i've been sharing there has been diff many different definitions to these terms that I'm sharing with you albeit sarcasm, threats and the like of every other medical term regardless of what it may be. You know some of these that I've defined will be in the other videos which I'll hopefully put a link either in the description or put it on my cards for you all to have a look at that I've shared in the past. But for now, for today's word of sarcasm, obviously, it is defined by Wiki as the use of irony to mock or convey contempt. Now, you may be thinking or asking me, what does this really mean to you, SB? Okay, there are three different types of irony, obviously, to break it down to you, of what I want to bring out to you. And they are, number one, verbal. These are the w type of use of words to mean something different than what the person actually is saying or meaning what they actually mean. Number two, it can be a situational kind of factor. Obviously the difference here or the difference between it is what is expected to happen and actually is likely to happen. Number three is dramatic, when the audience is more of what's knowing is happening inside with the characters that is maybe here say in a play or television set. So just to be in mind though, however, sarcastic to me is an adjective which is used as an actual sentence to define it as to illustrate to you all today is someone or something that's a, like a sneering remark, an example to clearly illustrate to you all obviously of sarcastic or sarcasm as a person saying that a particular song is their favourite when in reality we know they dislike it immensely, however, and they work the hardest to get it removed from their program. But I want to share with you all how sarcasm with me works, obviously. I want to be real and honest and upfront with you all. You know, sarcasm for me, I'm learning right now, is really darn hard. And basically, with sarcasm, 
with this form of relationship I have of it it's really 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 not the best it's not shit hot I, I still have to this day try to you know differentiate between the two if they're joking they're sarcastic and the like similarly like like Sheldon on um, The Big Bang if you watch that sort of thing he's my favourite character as well as some other characters on there I usually take it into response with person that is sarcastic, they're actually being real about it, you know, they're not joking, they're actually being real and honest to me, even though they may not mean what they're actually saying in that given time or moment of that time frame, regardless what it may be, however. So therefore, basically, also in that time frame, when they give you the lowdown of it all, basically, sometimes I usually take it literally for real many people might know this you know and then they'll think oh she's not laughing how are we going to get her to laugh on that well i joking you know sort of perspective that may be running in their mind i also find it sometimes to the point as no, no offense to take it to you all that when you are being sarcastic i take it as a form sometimes if i do pick up the tone and that sometimes as well depending i can pick it up based on the tone perspective that you could be either joking or you're lying to me with the white lies about what you're actually saying which is actually kind of bizarre a strange feeling or phenomena <coughs> put into perspective so in a way it's like to be sarcastic is to me for you guys is to lie yet yeah, it's only you know a, a a hang on a minute session with you lot they wouldn't want to lie to me would they situation you know in my clear understanding and mindset when it races you know with you guys with the sarcasm I know that may feel kind of really bizarre or strange as I'm illustrating this to you all but I'm hoping that you'll understand more about me with sarcasm and sar just sarcastic remarks that you guys may reply or when I respond to it and hopefully an address Treatment to you all of hopefully you know understanding better about how some autistic may work when it comes down to it as well i know for a fact though however it's only human nature that we do once in a while you know do use sarcasm or do the white lies you know despite that it doesn't really make sense however like i try to make sense of my world living with this burgess syndrome obviously trying to not fit in too much and blend in just to just do the best I can obviously sarcasm is almost like you're acting out of some kind of you know show however that you're in a play just to illustrate with you all that you know you've got scripts in your hand or you've already known some scripts what have you and that in that given moment however of those scriptings you just act it out but however the difference between sarcasm and acting however is that you know in some comedies, movies, dramas or whatever TV program you watch it's all scripted out and that they're only actors and they get get into those roles because obviously some of those actors that are in those kind of particular TV shows can relate to that character however I feel they'll usually tell you that they're sarcastic but they don't all the time okay for some people i've noticed that some people may tell me they're being sarcastic you know sometimes it's give and take sometimes they may not tell me at all you know as if they have to let me mind read yours you know of if you are being sarcastic so again it's sure as how to know when you guys are sarcastic or not hence you know reading through the lines or my black and white thinking how it is and whatnot you know and many people may think you know I take it the wrong way when I do, which then obviously starts up with heated debates or heated discussions with the person that I'm with. Um, sometimes just to be on mind, just to give you guys an advice here is it will be good in some ways just to get the heads up to be told about it so I don't misread you guys or misinterpret or dismiss the sarcasm as something else that you're sharing with me. Okay, however, just to be in mind, in America especially, no offense to what I'm about to share next or what I've experienced or what I've seen, you know, they have changed what sarcasm is a lot along the way of what the definition is and how it tends to be used in the term correctly. Okay, obviously the term they actually are using or obviously what they're saying is that 
but being ironic which is again a different generation term and meaning I've already mentioned what it is basically what it means in the types earlier in this video sarcasm however on the other hand is really different which is obviously that they state a fact that is actually true but trying to joke about it and it's not basically true and confused us to the point of no return when we get into the state of overdrive thinking oh no what the frick are they saying what you know and all this kind of concept and I get a lot of people saying that I just don't get it I'm one of them to be honest I am one the, the, one of them along with many other autistics that may say this I know of that I try my best to understand others in the way if they are being joking or not and being sarcastic and if we get what they really mean to what they're saying you know then it would be like I said really good just to think even though English and is a really hard way to communicate regardless what it may be um, <clears throat> just to be in mind though being with people who are sarcastic can be difficult you know if people does it, that's just the human nature obviously Pe everyone's different and people choose to say what they say or mean to say yeah it doesn't always tend to work for us autistics sarcasm is to, to me a strong fearful barrier basically for some people that wants to try and be real and honest to us however that's how I look at it and that trying to think too much or may even over analyze to the point of especially me I tend to overthink over analyze which it's just how I work obviously so you know just understand that this point are they going to be sarcastic all the time can they just be normal once in a while once in a blue moon even though many people may think you know what is normal normal is overrated or what have you um can they maybe just re-explain it in a different form of context to gain a better understanding to avoid this misgivings misunderstandings to avoid these you know what you call them heated debates or heated discussions that I may have with you. Also, for me, when I'm with you now and again now since I've learnt to watch your guys' body language and cues, basically to know what is real and what's not, obviously. Me also still may to this day struggle with this. But I'm starting to learn now, you know, what the different body languages and amongst certain people, even though some people are good at hiding their feelings and emotions and maybe what they're actually thinking, regardless what it may be. Obviously, you know, for some of us, when it comes down to sarcasm, there's no way of coping with it. It's just a matter of just give and take how we can, you know, communicate with one another, obviously, being autistic or not, so that we can avoid any heated discussions on what is my tip here, obviously. So watching out for the body language and cues is another one, hopefully. So in all further ado, guys, basically this ends quickly about the autism and sarcasm or as well as sarcasm and speech, just give me the like for thumbs up for support. Comment below if I missed out anything, or just comment below of some of the times when you've been dealing with people with being sarcasm, and you know how what you deal with it will be good, best described as you know. It's not just hopefully maybe people with autism that maybe struggle with sarcasm, of people's, maybe other people as well. So give me the lowdown. So thanks for your support, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I'm hoping to do it on the daily, weekly for the uploading, don't forget the notification bell to switch on so that you know when Aspie's up and around. Don't forget to also share these videos around, like I said, some of these are educational resource tools for you all to use and share for family, friends or even for yourself if you want to educate yourself more. Hopefully some of these are good to understand, just give me feedback, will be nice once in a while if these are easy to understand for you all regardless of what I share. So no further ado guys, thank you for support, thanks for watching. Do what you love, love what you do. Until next time, as we're standing out.